Hey, it's Waylon. Waylon Wilder. Um, today we are going to show you how to fit up a V groove with back and strip for stick welding in the 111 class using a, a jig, a new jig that we have. Um, starting with new plates and then maybe after you cut your old plates uh, to reuse them. All right, this is our new jig. I don't want you welding on the jig. I only want you welding using it to clamp your pieces down. It should be a little bit easier here. It is mobile. You can take it to different tables. You can take it to your booth if you had to. Notice these clamps are a little bit different. You push down, use your lever here, and they'll lock in place, okay? And they'll get all the way out of your way. All right, so for a quarter inch back strip, which is what we're using here, quarter by one, by seven or eight, um, you lay it down in the middle. It is made for that, okay? You're gonna put your first piece down, try to center it up, bring your switch down, your latch, push it, it'll lock in tight. We're gonna be using a quarter inch spacing. Get that ready. Get your little line up, your gap tool. Put your other one down. I like to just get it close. Check it, make sure it's nice and tight in there. We don't want it crooked sideways or anything else. Make sure this tool sits all the way down in the bottom. Hold it with your hand, clamp it down. It's nice and tight, it is nice and tight. You're gonna put two welds here, there. And you're gonna put two on the other side. All right, we're gonna put a tack on each one, each plate here, each bevel. You're gonna spin it around. And you're gonna put two on the other side. Pop it out of your jig. And there you have your V-Groove, it's ready. Quarter inch backing, quarter inch root opening, no landing, she's good to go. Notice there's no welds on the back side. Do not put any welds back here. Do not put any welds back here. All right, so we just got back, you just got done welding your, your coupon. Okay, you went over to the plasma cutter, you cut your bevels off on each side, nice and smooth like that. This is not gonna be able to fit back into the orange jig, the regular jig we just did. It's gonna to be too thick now that we had this metal welded on there. So we're gonna use the old jig here. You're gonna lay it down in the center and you're gonna clamp those in and put them on like that. Now, some of this obviously is not at the same plane as that. So we got some other pieces over here. Sometimes it's better to um, put a little piece under it, under your um, beveled edge put it on there and that actually looks better. I don't have a gap. Go ahead and clamp it into place. Always clamp that first one in. You can go ahead and get a tack on it while you're there so it don't move. All right, got it tacked down, tacked in. So now we need a quarter inch root opening. I'm gonna put this one under here and maybe I can Shim it up enough to where it fits pretty level. Yeah, I like it. I'm good with it. Okay. I'm gonna bust this loose so I can clamp this side down a little better. Okay, get it close, get it ready. Get my quarter inch gap tool there. That's about where I want it. Gonna hold it, clamp it, and we'll check it again just to make sure. I like it, and I'm gonna tack both ends again. Okay. All right, so that's tacked and ready for weld. We'll pop it out of this jig and give you a little look at it. See so, yeah, here, it's ready. 
Notice the welds on the back. So now I've got one V groove over here. I'm gonna finish this other one. After we get done with this, there's there's nothing else we can do to it. We'll go ahead and um, that'll be this plate will be ready for scrap. Okay. This is how I want you to do your V grooves in the 111 class. We're gonna use all of them, both sides, before we discard them.